Hello again, it's me, Edward Longman, and today I'm going to be showing you the beginning of uh, Noughts and Crosses. Um, so, as you can see, this switch turns the cell off. So, that's the cell on, that's the cell off. And this switch alternates which one, like which symbol it is showing. So that's the naught, and that's about as close to a cross as I think I was going to get. Um, it consists of a few elements. I think I'm the first person to do a sort of redstone lamp screen like this. Um, I know I saw one on PG5. However, the way they powered that, it it, it could only it could power. Would it? It could power blocks of four like this, um, but they'd all be either all on or all off. This powers doesn't power individual ones because you can't really do that for more than... If they're in a line, you can power individual ones, but otherwise it's totally impossible. Um, just the way that the interactivity of redstone lamps has been designed. So... Although I've only got one cell working, I have pasted in the back for all of this. As you can, there it is. Um, it's just the same. I originally had a bigger thing, but I oh, my mouse is going a bit weird today. Um, had a bigger thing, but I've shrunk it so that it will fit and it will tile. There's still a one wide gap in between them all, but you need that for the transmission. Um, the ways of, the two ways that I have got the plus and the naught is like this. So, as you can see, if you power the middle block, so I've just pushed it with a repeater, it powers, um, the middle one and then the four around it. And also, if you power the four corner blocks, which is what the, this set of repeaters is for, it powers the ring around the outside but not the middle one this is because if you power if you power a block um two redstone lamps in a row will power each other because the second one is touching a powered block because this redstone lamp is actually powered but also this one lights because this blue wall block is powered so that's kind of the interactivity and there's switches on the back of these to turn them off and the other one that just turns them off. The way, so this is the actual module. Um, all the blue, the blue wool is the stuff that controls the corner ones and the naught, um, and the red controls the middle and the and the cross. So there you go. That's the cross. That's the naught. If you turn them both on, okay, they they all light. Um, that's kind of the problem with this cell at the moment. I've got so the way to kind of counteract that. I'm using a little thing here, which is a switcher. Not seen one around before, so this kind of turns the cell on. This is the same as the right switch on the one on the uh, one for the main screen, and this one switches. Which one it is? As is quite obvious now, it's just a piston. Pushes the piston over a different powered repeater. So a different redstone torch, which creates a different power repeater, different redstone line. If you can imagine um, the far repeater, that would go to the naught, and the near the near two that would go to the cross. So that's kind of the switcher system I've I've used. There you go. That switches it, and there you go. When you, now when you do it. It doesn't turn on or anything like that. Um, so that is what um, the switcher is. Just this block here. This is the module I'm actually implementing. The other ones I'm not using yet. So this is it's that. This is um, an exact copy of that one down there. So hopefully that's explained it. I think um, 
as far as I know, nobody's done a sort of noughts and crosses display so far with um, redstone lamps. I've seen it done with torches. The problem with torches is you has, have to space them out. You can't get them right next to each other. So this is kind of, I guess, a teaser. I'll, and I'll be working on a full system. Hopefully, I'll be getting a system going where it actually tells you where you've won, because as it is, I've not seen that about. And I've had a few ideas. Well, actually, uh, my friend QQII, who runs Channel 8-Bit Adventures, check him out, um, he gave me the idea for how to check for certainly horizontal rows. Diagonal rows, a little bit more tricky, but it certainly will be the same checking system. And so that's it so far. Hopefully this has explained a bit more about redstone lamps to you. And I'll see you next episode when I might have got the whole system working. Bye.